I was waiting so long for the last two New Dragoonity cards. I was so hopeful for what they could have been. But instead, we got this! What are they even doing with these cards? Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be a card review slash discussion type video on the final new cards in the Dragoonity support wave. Two of which have just been revealed. They are the last two new cards from the structure deck, effectively, since we're getting a lot of the reprints confirmed and stuff, and there were slots available for two additional new cards, one of which I called being another Dragoonity spell, because the slot was perfect for it, and then a trap that, you know, just kind of came out of nowhere. And then we also have another card to talk about that has been revealed for a couple days, but I haven't talked about it yet, the new Dragoonity V-Jump promo that had its full effect revealed earlier in the week. <sighs> These cards... Man, at least I got Glow out of the picture. At least I got Glow, Remus, Legatus, and hell, we can even counter Reed Bear because that card's actually kind of bonkers too, out of this support wave. Fucking... <laughs> Four for eight is not bad, especially considering the contextuals of what the rest of the Dragoonity deck does. But so we have these new cards to talk about, and I'm gonna start with the worst ones first. We have a new continuous spell called Dragoonity Draft. It is, like I said, a continuous spell, and its effect is you can only activate one Dragoonity Draft per turn. First effect, when this card is activated, you can target one level 4 lower Dragoonity monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And its second effect is if a level 5 or higher Dragoonity monster attacks, it is unaffected by your opponent's card effects until the end of the damage step. This card does nothing. This is one of those cards that I would have absolutely loved in 2011, right? Because it's just, you know, recur a card back to your hand, it can do some stuff, it's good, it's nice, but it does not, it's not a 2020 type of card, it's not at all. Um, you don't care about your Dragoonity monsters being unaffected by opponent's card effects at all, not a single bit, that part might as well just not even be on the text, and then it's first effect that's the only like actual effect on the card, when this card being activated, target a level 4 lower Dragoonity in your graveyard and add it to your hand. That effect is not good enough. We don't need Dragoonity cards in our hand because all the level 4 lower Dragoonity monsters in our graveyard cannot summon themselves from our hand outside of a normal summon, with the only exception being Legatus. The only exception is Legatus. Remus, when you use it, banishes itself from Grave, so you can't say, oh, this card can add back Remus and discard for Dragon Ravine. Because if you're comboing turn 1, you should be using Remus, meaning that it's not in your graveyard anymore. And then you have, like, I just don't understand. Konami literally designed this card and put it in the structure deck and then also put Guard Dragon, uh, the Guard Dragon spell, World Legacy Guard Dragon, in the same structure deck as this card. World Legacy Guard Dragon adds 85% of the cards that this card can add back from grave to hand, but then also gives you the option to special summon them. Like, this card is so underpowered. It's... It's terrible. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good within the context of a modern Dragoonity deck at all. I'd say this isn't even good within the context of a Dragoonity deck ever since 2013. Like, for the last seven years, I could not see myself playing this card. As soon as 2013 hits, I don't think I'm ever playing this card. If this card had existed prior. Like, man, really not hitting it out of the power code this one, are you, Konami? The last cards are often either insanely good or terrible. Turns out they're terrible. Anyway, trap card, Dragoonity Void. Counter trap, you can only activate one Dragoonity Void per turn. YG Organization also says it's more than likely Dragoonity Purgatory because it's not a void spell or trap, um, just because of the way that the Japanese text is written. But right now the translation is Dragoonity Void. You can only activate one Dragoonity Void per turn. First effect, if your opponent activates a spell slash trap card while you control a Dragoonity Synchro Monster, negate the activation and if you do, banish it. Then, if you control a level 10 Dragoonity monster, you can have one face-up Dragoonity monster you control, gain 100 attack for each face-up banished card. This card was so close to being good. It's a trap card, it's a counter trap, it could have been very decent had it had the ability to be activated from hand. I don't know what cost you could have put on that. Probably could have been like tribute a monster to be able to activate this from hand, that way it counters imperm and other weird stuff. But as far as it goes, this card being a card that, while you control Dragoonity Synchro, just negates a spell or a trap for free, is nice, but the problem is, is again, in the context of a modern Dragoonity deck, 
this card is redundant. It doesn't do anything. The modern Dragoonity deck is vomiting out negations left, right, and center, and is making boards of Goliath lechery consistently. So, like, this card could have use in, you know, the future, potentially, if we don't have Elpy for Goliath or something, but as it stands right now, I don't even think it would have use then, truth be told. Uh, because, like, this is just a card you'd have to hard draw. I mean, maybe. It's definitely the better of the two spell and trap card support cards, right? But the fact that... <laughs> I just... I just don't understand. Like, you gave a card like Blackbird... If they had made Blackbird close for Dragoonities, that would have been insane. I probably would be playing that card. This one... Ah, not too sure! <laughs> like, this card is... Um, just not good enough. Again, in the context of modern Dragoonities. Like, yeah, you're ending on Dragoonity Synchros and stuff, but again, the common ending board on the current form of the deck is Lechery in scale, negating all spells your opponent can, like, could possibly activate. Why would I go out of my way for Dragoonity Void to negate one spell or trap when I'm ending on cards like Borload Savage Dragon that negate spells and traps already? Step one. Step two, the only cards I'm worried about are cards like Dark Ruler No More or Forbidden Droplets that could make my monsters not be able to negate them, but I'm not allowing my opponent the window to activate those cards because I'm putting Lechery in my scale. And if I'm worried about a trap deck, I could always side a Morphage Greed and do the same exact thing, but say no to the trap cards. This card is definitely the better of the two. Draft is absolutely awful. Void, it could see play in the future, but I mean like, Jesus. Imagine looking at the Dragoonity card pool and you're designing the last two cards that you're going to reveal for this archetype and you think to yourself, this archetype needs a monster reincarnation and a spell and trap negate. Couldn't be me. But, I mean, like I said, Void could be useful in the future, but it's just so bad right now. I cannot get excited for this card. It's... <sighs> it's just so weird. It's so weird and out of, like, left field, but at the same time, it's not because it's Konami. It really just depends. Depends on how you look at it. Personally, any aspect of time where I'm going to be able to lechery my opponent, it's going to be more valuable than this card. And this card is a card that you're going to have to naturally play, like, three of if you're playing it, because you're never going to search it with Romulus. Because when you can search with Romulus, you're either searching Glow, or you drew Glow, so you're searching Divine Lance, because those are extenders. I'm not gonna search this card with with Romulus. I'm not going to do it. You cannot make me. But I mean, as far as last two cards for a structure deck go, draft is terrible, but at least void could be played in the future. So it's not like super bad, but contextually speaking, with the way the deck functions, they're just both not playable at the current point in time. Like there are other cards I'd rather play over void. Like, void is literally like a worse solemn judgment if I were going to be playing a trap card that I need to draw three of. Like, or that I need to play three of so I can hard draw it, right? Judgment negates more, and has virtually the same activation requirement, which is nothing. Anyway. Last new card to talk about is a card that was revealed previously in the week. It is the V-Jump promo for Dragoonity. Dragoonity, Guy's Arm. And this is a card people have been asking me about a lot. Dragoonity, Guy's Arm. Level three. Remember that one. Level 3. Wind Dragon Tuner Effect Monster. Attack 600, Defense 1600. You can only use this card name's first and second effects once per turn each, and its first effect is when this card is normal summoned, you can target a level 4 or lower Wind Dragon slash Wing Beast Monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but its effects are negated. Pretty alright. It's like a worse Ducks. Seems okay. Second effect. While this card is currently equipped to a monster, you can special summon this card. Keep in mind, both these effects are hard once per turns, meaning that it's like half of a ducks, and its other effect is like half of a phalanx. Now, this card would be played in Dragoonity because it is objectively a good card. It's good in context of being a Yu-Gi-Oh card that functions, but it is bad in the context of a modern Dragoonity deck. It is the wrong level. Level 3 is atrocious, and there are some people saying, oh, now we can play Dragoonity Knight Trident. Consistently. One, we could have been doing that with Legionnaire equipping Coos, 
But there's a reason we haven't been doing that for the last two years. Because Dragoon Unite Trident sucks. Dragoon Unite Trident is literally the worst of the synchros. And we have Gaybulg that has never seen play. <laughs> if you're trying to make Dragoon Unite Trident, why? Man, if your deck makes Dragoon Unite Trident and sends it and other cards to the graveyard enough to send all 15 of your opponent's extra deck cards to the graveyard, that means you're summoning Trident five times and sending three, 15 cards to the graveyard. Sounds to me like if you're not summoning Trident, your deck's probably the best deck that's ever existed. You could be summoning Gaydurk five times. Cool. I guess. I guess I just won't combo. I guess I just won't. Why would you ever want to make Dragoon Knight Trident when we're literally ending on Goliath? Send cards from the extra deck to the graveyard? They can't summon from the extra deck. We summon Goliath absolutely cosmic brain but realistically like i said this card is a good card in terms of it's designed well the problem is it does not fit into a modern dragoonity strategy i would have played this card in 2011 this is another one of those cards i would have played in 2011 because i would have loved the ability to normal summon ducks and make black rose in 2011 but guess what it's not 2011 anymore normal summon black rose isn't good if it was it'd be meta right now so like why would i play this card and then there are some people that are saying oh now we could play legionnaire as our summon because we can go legionnaire into geyser arm into gator all right cool now you can't finish the rest of your combo because guess what's the most important part about the ending section of your combo being able to summon level twos like phalanx and coos like i literally cannot believe that they actually designed this card this way it was level three and the second that i saw it was level three on reveal before we even knew its effect text I was like, this card has to have a literally insane effect for this card to be playable. This effect is not insane. This effect is something that is decent in other decks. Like, you know, Harpy gets a decent normal summon, which can let it go into, like, Needle Fiber easier. Um, it gets a better Needle Fiber or, like, a Romulus target, because there are some Harpy Lady decks that are going around right now that are summoning two Harpies, making Romulus, adding Divine Lance, and Divine Lancing for Phalanx as a tuner to make Needle Fiber. This is a better target for that, because this card actually does something when you draw it. Same sort of deal in Dragon Link. I don't know what other wind dragons you could be playing in it, but I mean, I guess you could summon Romulus back, if you have a copy of this in your hand, but made Romulus and did something else with it. I don't know. It's playable in those decks, and it's definitely better in those decks, just like Dragoonity Armor Graham is better in other decks than it is in Dragoonity, because contextually, it does not fit the, with what the deck's cohesive, like, direction has been for the last couple of years like even if you weren't doing the goliath lechery play this card just doesn't fit in because it's not a high quality extender like cards like phalanx and kusar because those cards just get to summon themselves as much a turn as possible and they're the right levels to facilitate stepping up into very powerful level 8 synchros very powerful level 10 synchros like odd numbered synchros are something that has never been a good strategy for dragoonity never never has it ever um, so, like, this card just does nothing, and people have been wanting my review on it, and it's, the review is that it's not good in Dragoonity. I'm surprised I have to tell you this, <laughs> but then again, less and less has been surprising me as each day goes by, so who knows. Anyway, that's been my review of these three cards. This is, as far as we know, the last of the new Dragoonity support that we're ever going to get in the foreseeable future. We've gotten a lot of good stuff out of this, being Glow or Reed Bear, Remus, Legatus, We've gotten one okay card being Void, uh, but literally has to have the stars aligned for it to be playable in the future. And then we've got some unplayable stuff like Draft. So, I mean, all in all, four to four and a half cards out of eight, like I said, not too bad of a support wave. Considering in Saiho, we only got like Sinidus and Coos, and Ascalon was kind of like okay. And then the other cards were terrible. So, it just really... Depends on your outlook, I guess. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, if you're new here, subscribe if you want to see more content. Trying to be more regular again, as you've probably been noticing. Trying to help dig my YouTube channel out of the YouTube algorithm hell that it's currently sitting in. So if you'd like to help out, subscribe, like the video, comment down below with your thoughts, questions, or concerns, all that sort of nonsense. And other than that, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time, as usual, guys. And take care. I will see you in the next video, which will not be Dragoonity combos using any of these new cards, by the way.